Hey, hello again, everyone. This is Leanne. Um, I'm going to first start off by saying that, yes, it's just going to be me in this episode. And it might just be me in the future episodes until I can maybe branch out more. But for now, let's move on with it. So, I want to start off saying that um, most of these videos are not just going to be in within the asexual community, I might branch out a little bit, talk about things within the LGBT community that stuck out to me and I just want to hear everybody's opinion. I do post some of my stuff in groups to see what everybody else says. It also helps fuel my conversation because I tend to either ramble or forget where I'm going. So for this, I've already tried once recording this and this is be my third time recording this since why it's taking so long to upload. So that I am sorry for, but I had to make sure I was doing it right. This is the first time I've actually done a podcast that's much different from my other channels, so it's going to sound a little sloppy until I get used to it. So without further ado, let's get on with the subject. So today is going to be about something I've heard from usually the cisgendered men. It'd be twice I've heard it now, but two different people. But given it's from the same community, I'm pretty sure there are more people saying it, I just haven't run into them. And what they're saying is... I can't understand how a woman can stay broke if they can make money off their body or something like that and then go on to say that if I was a female, I would never be broke. Insinuating that they would be using the services such as OF, I'm not sure if I can say the name on YouTube so bear with me, they'd be using services like OF to sell content which i'm going to get way into why that sounds ignorant would be the best way to explain what it is that you just said ignorant i before posting and asking everybody else's opinion only had a little bit of information on the subject and basically just felt that something did not seem right with what they said but oh there was more there's much more. And even on my first take of recording this, I completely dismissed people who are actually in the industry. And so that's why I'm doing part two, or should I say take two. So I am going to be reading some of the comments in the comments section, but I should let you know right now, I struggle at reading. I have always struggled at reading. I, there's a story about it in a different post or whatever, but I've struggled at reading, so I'm going to do my best to read this, but I'm going to sound like a robot, and I'm going to stutter my ass off, just letting you know. Moving on, let me just first say, like, a couple things from my, where I take from this, and then I'm going to read what's in the comment section. So, from what I take from this, and a lot of stuff I'm going to say is going to be mentioned in the comment section, is that men, or men in that community, should I say. The community I was referring to, but not limited to, is the red pill, blue pill community. Now, it's not just men in that community, and I'm pretty sure I named that community incorrectly, but for the sake of just getting my point out, I'm calling it the red pill, blue pill community. People in those communities, or who see themselves as, I'm assuming it's the red pills, if I'm correct, are the ones who cheat the system. Lack of a better word, cheat the system. They realized that, as far as relationships goes, it's not fair, using air quotes, and that women have it easy. I don't know how true this is, as I myself have not been given fantastic opportunities because I have boobs and a crotch, but other people have, and in the comment section, somebody does kind of shoot themselves in the foot by answering a specific question, which we'll get into. But I've never had, like, the luxury of being a woman, per se. I've never had it easy, as what men tend to say. And when I say men, I don't mean by all men. I'm just saying the men who believe in this malarkey. That women have it easy. Maybe a certain amount of women have it easy, depending on what they look like, who they know, where they, like, live and all that stuff. But I have not had that easy, as what, what some people would say. I haven't even been given free stuff because I'm a woman, but I digress. Men apparently think women have it easy because most bosses are most likely to give them raises or keep them working even though they suck at the job, all because they're a woman, and guys have it harder because they have all these unrealistic standards put on top of them. That in itself is a whole nother conversation. Point being, 
It's because men think that women have it easy. They believe that because these easier steps for women has something to do with their bodies. That on top, which in some cases can be true, but not in all cases. So they think, hmm, well, if men will do anything for these beautiful women, why are they always broke? Because selling your body online is not as easy as taking a picture and posting it online. As hard as that may be to believe. But that's what they think. And I'm pretty sure there's plenty of proof out there to prove that women have it easier or so on and so forth. But I don't have that on at, at hand to have that on deck. And if I had like done this podcast with somebody I know, they might have that information. But this, then this podcast would go on forever. So I don't even know how long this is going to be. But... I might get into that in the future podcast um, episode, but for now, we're just going to talk about the comment. Um, another thing I mentioned is that men are only saying that, or let's should I say, those men are only saying that because they live their life, I guess, struggling as a man, as a male, in the society where it favors women. They think, well, if I was a woman, I would have all, I would do all this and make sure my life is always up and up, in the up and up. But they're only thinking that in a men mentality, if that makes sense, in a male mentality. They think, oh, if I was a woman, I would do this, that, and the other. But they don't realize that if you were born a woman, things would be a lot different. You wouldn't even be thinking like a man, unless in some cases you might be. But... In a cisgendered woman's lifestyle, there is a slim chance you might be thinking, Oh, I'm a woman, I should take advantage of this. Some women do. I'm not saying it's bad to do that. I'm just saying not all women do. And a majority of them, at least I haven't run into somebody who sells themselves, so it can't possibly be that common. But in the off chance that you just so happen to be born a female, you're not going to be immediately thinking, what's the best way I can merchandise or market my body? Because it's not a normal or a common thought, unless you're brought into the lifestyle of thinking that way. I don't know the people in the comment section, I don't know what their lifestyles were previous to doing that. I don't know if their lifestyles are now, but... By reading what I have in the comment section, you'll have a better idea of the lifestyle a woman who sells content has to go through, and how obviously it's not meant for everyone, and thinking that it is, or thinking that it should be or could be, is ignorant. Alright, well, now that I got my point across, I'm going to struggle my ass off reading all this, and I'm going to do my best by cutting out all the parts I suck at reading, and hopefully you can get some information out of what I read. This person uses the Zathoris quite a bit with big words, and it I, it just makes it hard for me to read them. Luckily, they do have a more simplified version of what they said in the comment section as well. So in case I'm not the only dumb one who can't understand big words, I ha- I'll help you out with that. This person starts off by saying, seems like he's saying that female, using air quotes, body, or bodies perceived as female or commodified. And therefore, women and people perceived as women should be able to just cash in on this. And that not everyone wants to commodify their bodies, and nor should commodification be a default. Alright, cool. Let's move on to this more simplified uh, third grade version of what she just said. When I say commodify, I mean like the female, using your quotes, body, is used to sell stuff, and is also viewed as an object that can be bought and sold. Not everyone wants to be objectified. And the reason that things like OF is so popular and generally veered towards feminine producers of the content is because of sexism. He thinks it's an advantage to be able to easily, using air quotes, sell your body when for a lot of us it's just another aspect of misogyny that we sometimes choose to make money off of for ourselves. Okay, so... Ugh! I say this every time in every attempt of this little podcast thing. I don't like using words like sexism and misogyny for the simple fact that I have always seen bad things happen when it comes to people using those words. And I say that because immediately people stop listening when you start calling people, or not calling people, using the word misogyny and and sexism and all that stuff because 
they know what those words mean and they immediately start devaluing what our emotions and feelings are by using those words. However, while I might not agree with using the words in most of that, when they say that using our bodies is an easy way to make money is misogynistic, I feel like it's used pretty well in that sentence. Because the only reason why places like OF exists is because men kind of, I mean, those men, should I say, kind of are used to seeing that kind of content. And at this point, because they compare places like OF to getting f female content from that, it's just kind of expected, like, oh, well, if places like that exist, then why aren't all women using that? It's just kind of sad. But I also want to say that places like OF exist because that just happens to be the platform people sell them. But honestly, it doesn't matter where you post the content. It's just if those kind of men find it, they're going to be wanting it. And I guess they just assume that, oh, it's just so easy. I can just buy pictures or buy like an hour of their time. And I, it looks like it's so easy. They, they go into whatever platform they want and they take pictures of your body. And, and they have tons of people flocking towards them. I just don't get why not everyone's doing this. Same reason why not everyone's a truck driver. Same reason why not everyone's an engineer. It takes skill, it takes time, patience, it takes a lifestyle. And I'm going to get into that by reading this one person's comment. I think people often underestimate how emotional taxing it can be. I've often heard content creators say the same thing. It's not just a case of taking some pictures and videos, uploading them and seeing the money roll in. You have to interact with people buying it to keep the followers and even though most are lovely, sometimes it's hard when you don't feel like talking to people or you want to spend your time chatting with your friends rather than horny strangers. Getting glammed up regularly is hard when you're not in the mood or you're feeling pretty unsexy. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy taking pictures much of the time, which is why I started it, but it's by no means easy money and it's only a select few who get rich off of it, like with anything. Work is work. Basically what they said was kind of what I said before I started reading the comment. That it's a skill. And not everyone has that skill just because they look like they have that skill. I often get compliments on my fingers because they're long and skinny and elegant looking. And everyone says, you look like you play the piano, or you look like you play the cello or the bass. I'm like, I don't know how to play any of those instruments. I can't just start doing it just because I have the fingers for it. Just because you look like you would be perfect for something doesn't mean you know what it takes to do that. I've seen people who I've never expected be a truck driver because I was working security, dealing with trucks, and I would see people who look like me driving a giant truck, and I'm like, how the heck? It takes skill, not looks, unfortunately. Some jobs, they want to get them confused, like disgusting bosses who take advantage of pretty women because, oh, they are pretty and I'm gonna give them shit they don't deserve. And then they screw over the people who work hard and deserve that kind of stuff. But that doesn't apply to everything. Just because I have a body that looks nice doesn't mean I should go ahead and sell it. And even if I just so happen to want to, there's still a skill behind it. Someone else in here who either knows someone or is a content creator also mentions that it's an insult to the people who do have that skill. Just like I mentioned, just because you look like somebody who would have that skill doesn't mean you have that skill. And it's an insult to people who do have that skill and work hard every day to keep providing for themselves see other people pointing at people who have no idea what the heck they're doing and say, hey, you should start doing this even though you don't want to. And it's super easy, you should just do it anyways. So let me see if I can find that comment. Okay, so this person rambles on for the better half of this comment section, so it's gonna start off pretty weird, but also makes me sad when a lot of the SWs I have met are running themselves ragged to still struggle to make ends meet, just due to how much time and energy goes into advertising, arranging everything with or for clients, and then actually spending time with the clients or producing content camming. I'm assuming content and or camming. I don't think a lot of cis men understand the time 
energy and luck required to make a lot of everything for SWs. I know somewhere in here they said something along the lines of it's insulting. I think somebody else said it. Let's see if I can find that comment. Okay, I think I found it. My response to this would be that by this logic, no man should ever be broke either. I'm sure there's someone out there who would pay for some form of sexual activity with them or use of their body for entertainment or otherwise purpose or other purposes. What's that they say? Some activities or people make them uncomfortable. They should be willing to do anything for money, no? Also, this type of comment is pretty insulting to those in the sex industries. They are professionals and require skill and effort like any other, whether the profession is female, male, or non-binary. Okay. So, that's the comment I meant to find, but I didn't end up reading two comments, which is fine. Which is fine. So, someone meant- this person mentions that there's no reason why men should be broke either. Like I said in the way beginning, men, or the men in the, those type of men who believe this, say that women have it easier, men don't. And while it is a significant loss- sorry a significantly larger amount of people willing to buy more female content than male content it isn't completely out of it's not completely off the table for men to make content as well there is always someone who's willing to buy something and if you make your feet pretty enough i'm pretty sure you can take pictures moving on um this does make me think about the whole luck situation, which I'm going to go ahead and read the person's comment that does sound like they shoot themselves in the foot a little bit, so I'm pretty sure you'll notice what I mean when I get to that. So let's see. Here it is. I filled out a survey from a friend of mine with questions about being a female in the workforce. One of the questions he asked was about what was it like being a woman and having men give out free stuff and free help to you. That was the most out of touch question I have ever heard. In parentheses, in context, he was implying that women have it easier in a male dominating field when it's far the opposite. I've never gotten much free stuff, using air quotes, from men. And those who have offered, I usually turn down because free doesn't mean free in most cases. Yes, other men believe that women can actually make money by flashing themselves online or whatever. But both the belief that women can flirt and live free and flash and make cash, all misogyny, demeaning, and worse from there. Sorry. <laughs> I love reading. But the part where she shoots, shoots herself in the foot in case it went over your head is the fact that she was answering a question that technically, no, she does not get free stuff. Even though she doesn't have to receive it or say, yes, I'll take that to still be given free stuff. You don't have to accept the free stuff to still be considered one of the lucky people to get free stuff. It's still the fact that the option was on the table and someone was willing to do that. So in a sense, her life is unfortunately easier than most women. I've never gotten free stuff, and at least I am not aware if it has been given to me because it wasn't blatantly obvious. I'm not saying that it hasn't happened or won't happen. I'm pretty sure it will. Because unfortunately, I was blessed to have a feminine body. The point is, even though I am still on the fence of whether or not men have it significantly harder than women, it's still a belief as to why men still think the way. And I'm not saying all men, but most, or the men in that thought process, believe that women can just easily make money because they have a feminine body. Nothing's stopping you from making that money, but instead you want to sit there and crap on the women who have value, who don't feel like dealing with the stress, who see themselves as human and not some kind of vending machine, and say, well, the only reason why you're broke is because you don't want to jump on the bandwagon. No, it's because I'm a human being who sees myself as such, and you should do. But I think that's about it as far as the comments go. There are a couple other ones, but they don't really line up with what I'm going for. So that's basically it. I don't know. I'm not sure if this is answering any question. It's just the topic I was on. And yeah, basically, it's kind of silly to believe that women, just because they are women, or just because they are perceived as women, or sexy, or whatever, should just sell off their bodies because 
oh, you look like this, and so I see and buy this content, why aren't you doing it? There's no reason why you should be broke, because there's a lot more than it's what's on the surface. All you see is women sell body, and women should sell body too. No. The, the reason why those women are selling what they're selling is because they understand the niche market. They can go from top to bottom, list all the stuff, and they can prepare themselves for it, and they have the mentality for it, the, the location for it, the body for it, everything. It's a lot more than what's on the surface. And if those type of men would think past themselves and what's on the surface as a woman, because we're not providers. We don't provide for anyone. We're just born this way. I'm sorry society like came up with this idea of what women should look like, what women should do, and how they should do it. But this, this in this day and age, we have way more value and should be seen as such. If you want that content, look for it. If you want to be rich, go for it. Just don't put it on us as women to do that providing. We're perfectly fine with that lifestyle. We shouldn't be seen as anything else less than that. Yo, what's up everybody? This is Leanne again. I know I keep saying that, but hey, you guys gotta know who I am. If you guys enjoyed this kind of content, be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below. I'm hoping the comment section will work because I've noticed that a lot of my videos have turned off the comment section for some reason. I don't know why. But yes, I want to do content like this a lot more where I'm just free to speak up or speak out about certain stuff. And I'm hoping that I can reach out to people who feel the same way or just want to know what I have to say. So, if you like this kind of content and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe because that'll help my channel out and I hope to make this much bigger. Anyways, I'll see you guys later.